Hello everyone and today we're gonna test this gun again and once again my beautiful wife will shoot me in my back. Um, now I had some question last time in the last video, the first video I did. If you want to check it out, check it out first where I demonstrate this more. You can just check, up, check out this card, I think it will end up here. Uh, anyways, uh, I got one question that if you, when you have shot it, if you could store it with the gas uh, loaded and you should not store it with the gas loaded because of multiple reasons like um, safety of course that's the number one and also the seals in the gun can start to dry out and, and the gun will start to leak and it would leak out all the gas uh, so you don't store it with the gas inside loaded uh, anyways we're gonna load this up and we're gonna shoot it uh, in my back and we're also gonna test fire it once in uh, I have some uh, corrugated paper we're gonna try to shoot it and uh, see how much damage it actually does compared to a normal airsoft gun okay so here I have a normal airsoft gun from Umarex it's a Glock 17 shoots normal six, six millimeters BBs uh, it shoots about one joule I'm gonna shoot this first and then we're gonna compare it to the uh, HTP Umarex. So it got through about four. There's no dent here. Four sheets. And also you need to think about that uh, the impact is a lot smaller, so it penetrates a lot more. I'm gonna shoot the HTP. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. It's in the fifth and made a dent in the sixth. So. And also keep in mind that uh, these are a lot bigger, so it takes more to go through. Yeah, there's a difference. And so I thought uh, it would be fun to see a, a bit more uh, the, the power difference in them. Uh, and we can also try to shoot this in my back and you can compare the damage. I hope you enjoyed that test and now I'm gonna show the actual damage on my back and so you can compare to a normal BB to this uh, self-defense revolver 50 calibers and here it is it actually started to bleed I'm not sure if it's still bleeding but yeah, it's still bleeding, and so is the BB. Okay. <laughs> it is right, right over it. It's in the middle of the. No, it's just right over it. Okay. So I didn't actually hit it. I was just really, really close, but it's bleeding, so looks nasty. Right. Well, I hope you enjoyed the test, and if you haven't seen the first video where I uh, go through the gun more thoroughly, how it works, go check that out. As I said. And I also want to add one thing, you can actually empty the gas uh, in a much easier way than just shooting out the, every bullet and you know, shooting blanks. And it's actually a function which I missed to uh, uh, say in the first video. And on this you can actually press this down with a bit of force and you release the gas. And that way you don't have to shoot all the blanks or uh, empty. Uh, this and it will basically not explode but you know it will make a big puff oh. 
and uh, I hope you enjoyed this little test and if you want to see more videos like this or uh, you know upcoming videos where we test guns and uh, I have a lot planned now in the future we're gonna make a series uh, about airsoft and a lot of stuff on this channel so I really hope you like this and subscribe and follow along on the journey and I hope you have a great time and see you in the next one. Woo! <laughs> 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 Don't put all my back here, right?